at school, at school, at school. One lady told me, a very good friend of mine, Stanley, why don't you just pursue art? Because most of your books are filled with drawings. And I told her, I'm doing something that is a little bit off from art, but I think this is a necessary evil because I can web design, I've got the business skills. So if it's in terms of marketing, then I'll need this course now because I'll use it in art. My name is Stanley Cheche, a visual artist. I was born in Pangani, that's where I've grown. I've been painting for 10 years now professionally. It began at a tender age when I was a very young kid. I remember one night when I, I was doing my homework, mathematics. At that time, we were living with my cousin, bro. I stumbled on one of his books. Then uh, at the back of the page, I found caricatures drawn. And everybody in the house was talking. But the moment I saw that image, I felt like I'd gone into my own world. I was so happy, I felt excited. I made it a point every day now to start checking all of his books. I began a, a, a behavior of drawing what I've seen on his book. I had a self-drive. I would buy my own paints. That time when somebody's been given money for pocket money, I would keep half in the house before I go to boarding school. Then when I get to school, I would pawn some of my shopping, like maybe soaps. If I have four, I'll sell two, because I know this money has to go somewhere. particular materials or instruments that I bought back in the day that I still have them today. I have knives, painting knives. I bought them long time ago and uh, I taught myself how to paint using them. While in secondary school, my art teacher is called the late Sola Mwai. When I was informed too, he really appreciated my art. And to show this is that at a particular point, I remember he sent some Form 3s and 4s. There's a guy called Stanley Church in Form 2. Kindly go check his work eh? and uh, let him teach you whatever he does. My desire for art was again propelled to another level because now this is a teacher who's seen my work uh, that I've been doing at home. Now he's not only loved them, but also now referred people in upper classes to come and see my work. After high school, I went. I joined BIFA for certificate course. I went to BIFA that time. There was uh, Patricia. Patricia was a uh, principal then. She asked if I have something that uh, I can show. So the next day, I brought my sketchbook. Patricia went through the pages. She got to a certain point where I drew flowers. She paused, looked at me, looked at the painting, looked at me again. The whole office went into silence and I was like, no, this is wrong. She was like, is this your piece? I said, yeah. When can you join? And I told her, I would love to join today, but I don't have school fees. She said, no, you, you must join today. School fees issues will work on tomorrow. My work is impressionism. Impressionism because uh, I'm trying to speak about social life and the things that's around us, things that happen on a day-to-day -day life. The Peace Nation Builder was inspired by life in Eastlands. When you look at uh, Juakali sector in Gikomba, it sort of borders town and Eastlands. And during my growing up time, I had a uh, metallic home bank, I had a metallic box. I thought it would be good for me now to keep it like I'm not documenting this is where my box came from this is where I got my home bank from having despite having been bought on the streets but I went to the source of where they're being made so I just feel like I should speak or 
document about the life of how people do things. Being featured on the, this is my Kenya Safari Com calendar really humbled me. I felt happy. At least every homestead uh, has a calendar and that's in my painting. I love paper. I'm unique and uh, I fell in love with the style. Materials or paintings that I use gel well with the papers. I use soft pastel for painting. They're chalk-like, but later on, I fix them using a, a fixative or hairspray. <laughs> it sounds crazy, yeah? The art industry in Kenya is a little bit fluid, and I would say that uh, it's growing now. You can do art full-time, just like you can be a doctor full-time. What art requires is a couple of things. You need to be very disciplined. You need to be very consistent. You need to learn as an artist. And lastly is respect. Respect is key, not only in art, but in any other industry. Artists and women, they behave almost similar. You've got moods. <laughs> A painting like this, it will take a week. But again, if I don't have the moods, I can start do the sketch, roll it over, keep it, come back when I feel like uh, I'm in the mood again. My name is Stanley Cheche, and I'm putting Kenyan canvas.